Hey everybody, uh, it's uh, HCC here and I'm about to start the road to Jokon in my trusty car here. Uh, it's just going to be me this time, not the rest of the family. Uh, last year everybody went, but this time it's just me. Um, it's very early in the morning, um, around 2.40 a.m. Um, based on how I plan the trip out, uh, if I leave now, um, make a few stops on the way, uh, I should arrive at about the right time for check-in at the hotel uh, and then maybe I can get some rest and then maybe get out and see a few people uh, tonight so uh, I'm gonna get started here in a minute um, and hopefully I will see a few of you at Jokon. I don't know if you can hear the 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 um, the frogs are making a hell of a racket out here um, and nobody nobody in the neighborhood is up right now so, uh, yep, okay, time to hit the road. Gas in the car, gas in the car, gas in the car. Putting petrol in the automobile. Yeah, this is not the fun part. Crossing the Arkansas border. Welcome to Arkansas. Yep, just crossed the Arkansas border. Um, it is still dark. It is uh, about 4.14 in the morning. Uh, it's kind of tough to film a road trip like this because I'm starting the driving at night. Um, and so there's nothing to show you at black until the sun comes up. We have daylight. We have some sunshine finally peeking over the horizon and I'm approaching Little Rock. Um, probably won't be able to show it to you because I'll have to deal with traffic while I'm driving, so a little too difficult to film uh, without any help. Uh, but anyway, approaching Little Rock and we have daybreak. Getting gas again, getting gas again. Not the fun part. Not the fun part. So I made it to Memphis and I'm hanging out in a Walmart parking lot in Memphis uh, waiting for someone uh, for a surprise. Uh, something I'll get to show you later. Um, but uh, this is about the halfway point. I got gas again in the car um, and I feel awake. I'm not too tired so uh, should be able to finish out this uh, this trip without any problem. Traffic delays uh, due to construction. The same thing happened on the way to Florida, but um, fortunately, my uh, driving app has um, selected a quicker route. So uh, hopefully, I won't be delayed that much. 
we are making it though. Um, just a few more hours to uh, Chattanooga. Okay, so this is the alternate route that uh, the map gave me to get me around some construction. Um, and I guess it is faster, but it doesn't feel faster. I have gone through tiny little towns. I've gone through mountains. Uh, and now I'm in a rainstorm. So uh, still uh, bound for Joe Con in uh, Chattanooga, but uh, man, we are climbing some mountains right now. There it is. I am in Chattanooga right now. I can't believe it. Wow, that was a long drive. Now I just got to make it to the hotel. All right, it is Saturday morning. Uh, the first morning uh, I will be going to the actual real Joe Con. Uh, so I'm getting ready. Uh, I want to be early in line since I'm general admission uh, so I can uh, get to the floor as early as possible. Um, uh, last night I was able to go uh, to the convention hotel uh, and I actually met the guys from G.I. Joburg. Uh, I met um, Kevin from SEO uh, Toy Review uh, and uh, I met a bunch of other people. It was super awesome. Uh, unfortunately, it was also really hectic uh, and very noisy um, and in all the hustle and the bustle I wasn't really able to get any video of that, but I'm going to try to get as much video as I can today. Uh, and give you guys uh, the con experience as much as I can. So, um, not quite awake yet. Uh, we're in Eastern time, uh, and I'm used to Central time. So, um, yeah, I'm not fully uh, awake yet. I'm not completely alert and aware. Uh, but, but I will be leaving soon. Um, a few more things to get ready. Uh, Want to make sure I don't forget anything. So, I'll see you at JoeCon. <music>
Hey everybody, okay, I'm taking a break, sitting down for a minute. Uh, it's been a very busy show. Uh, I gotta charge my phone a little bit. I've met a whole bunch of folks here. Uh, thank you to everyone who came up and said hi to me. I've spent a lot of time with the Joburg guys. It's been a great show, it's been a really crowded show. I mean, look at this, look. Still so many people here. So uh, I'm just taking a little break right now. I'm exhausted, but I'm gonna head back into the dealer floor pretty soon because there's still a few things that I'd like to pick up. I haven't bought as much stuff this year, but the stuff that I have got is I think is pretty special. Hopefully I'll show some of that to you later. That was day one of JoeCon for me anyway. Uh, I'm walking out there setting up for casino night in there, but I'm not for that. So I um, got to spend a lot of time with uh, Joburg. I uh, got to spend a lot of time with a lot of people. Uh, and now I'm tired and really hungry. So, But there's another day tomorrow, so I'll see you guys then. Alright, day two of Joe Con. Uh, yesterday was a huge day. Um, I got video, but I never seem to get as much video as I want to get, uh, just because there's so much to do. A lot of people came up to me and said hi, uh, got pictures taken. Um, I didn't buy very much just because uh, it, I was so busy. Uh, so I'm hoping to uh, get more G.I. Joe stuff today, but I'm also hoping to see more people today. So uh, if you didn't come out on Saturday, maybe you'll be out on Sunday and I'll get to see you and say hi. Uh, but that was the best part of the day, is meeting everyone. Uh, that was fantastic. Um, that was uh, just an unbelievable experience. Um, how, just the sheer number of people who came up and say, said hello to me. I brought a whole bunch of uh, uh, secret code books to give to everyone who came up and talked to me. Um, and I gave a bunch of them away. Fortunately, I made enough, I think. Uh, I still have a few to bring with me on Sunday. Um, I did a little bit of shooting for... Um, the next review video, the Cobra Convergence video, um, I actually just wrapped that up uh, here in the hotel room, and I'm going to try to shoot some of it at the convention today, I hope. Um, but if you've ever been to one of these conventions, you know how crazy it is, how hectic it is, and you know, you make plans, but those plans don't always work out just because um, a lot goes on uh, and a lot gets in the way, but uh, usually it's, it's good stuff. You got to kind of go with the flow, you know, go with the flow at these conventions and uh, when you're having fun, when you're meeting people, sometimes that just takes priority over whatever you planned to do. So yeah, and today if that happens, that's okay. Uh, I'd rather meet people and talk to people um, and if I don't get to do my shooting, that's all right. Uh, but I'm going to try. I'm going to attempt to. All right, so uh, shutting this thing off so I can drive back to downtown Chattanooga.
closing is, so the G.I. Joe 3 and 3 quarter inch saying is knowing is So what's the other half? It's the doing. So he knows. So my dadism to them, you know, and take this forward in life, it's not the knowing that's important, it's the doing. So go out and do great things, be the finest, help other people, and along the way, continue collecting G.I. Joe, so yo Joe. Well, that's it. There are a few more people here, but I am one of the last to leave the last Jocon. One more night in Chattanooga, but uh, this is it. This is the end. It's a little emotional, but um, there will be other things, other things in the future. There are going to be great things in the future, but this is still the end of an era. So. Signing off from the last Joe Con. <laughs>